Hey guys, it's myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now, it's been a little over two weeks since Apple has released any software updates, any betas, or anything in regards to software. But today, Apple has now released a new software update for the iPhone and across the board, across all of their devices. And of course, in this video, we're going to go over what's new with the latest iOS 15.4 Point one. Now, this software has been highly anticipated for many users. Of course, we'll go over everything that's new within the latest update. There's some important bug fixes. So this is the software that you may want to update to if you did update to iOS 15.4. And I'll tell you guys why in just a few seconds. But as I mentioned, Apple has also updated all their other platforms. So if you have a Mac, Mac OS 12.3.1 is now available for the Mac. As I mentioned, as you can see here, 15.4.1 for iOS iPadOS 15.4.1 has now been released for iPad users. WatchOS 8.5.1 is now available for the Apple Watch. And of course, tvOS 15.4.1 is now available for the Apple TV. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now the first thing i do want to mention is that this software update isn't large right it is a small software update it's anywhere from 200 to 400 megabytes that's always going to depend on the iphone that you're using and the software that you're updating from this iphone here 12 pro max was updated from ios 15.4 to 15.4.1 and it was approximately 300 megabytes as you can see right there now as we head on over into settings here general and about the latest build number for ios 15.4.1 it's 19e258 that's going to be the latest build number now this software did not see any beta testing apple has not released any beta for this software you can download it right now for your iphone and or your ipad now one of the biggest concerns with ios 15.4 as most of you guys expressed concern was battery drainage issue now i did ask about this on my youtube community poll i did ask how is the battery with ios 15.4 and about 10,000 votes of you guys voting here a 35 percent of you guys from 10,000 said that yeah you're experiencing battery issues now here is the release notes for ios 15.4.1 now apple specifies here that if you're experiencing battery drainage issue with ios 15.4 15.4.1 will address this particular issue. Now, there's also some accessibility issues being addressed here. Braille displays may become unresponsive when displaying text and or alerts. And the third thing that's being addressed here is that made for iPhone hearing devices may lose connectivity within third-party apps. Now, just keep in mind that if you are having issues with third-party application disconnecting from your made for iPhone hearing devices, this issue has been addressed here as well. But the number one concern here was the battery drainage issue. So if you were having that issue, this is definitely the software update that you want to update to. There you guys have it, just a quick one. 15.4.1 is now available for the general public. Go ahead and download it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.